I think that's the million dollar question. And, and that's why we haven't cracked that one yet. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you my summary of where I think we're at right now, you know, in 2023. We do know, as you mentioned, there's chronic inflammation. The big question has always been, why is that there? What triggers it? And what uh, makes it persist? Um, and initially, we, it was thought that, well, you know, we don't know what the triggers are, but we're going to focus on the inflammatory cells and try and deal with those. And then in recent years, we've said, well, if you look at the microbiome in IBD, it's different, right? The question then was, is it different because of the inflammation there? Or is there inflammation because the microbiome is somewhat different in each individual? And then we took it back to the genetics and said, well, is there something about genetics of patients with IBD that makes them more predisposed to having maybe an abnormal response to the microbiome? Because if you look at the microbes, they're not that much different to other individuals. They're not like they're full of a particular E. coli or particular pathogen, but they're different, right? There's maybe less diverse microbi microbiota. And then even in recent, the reason in the last year or so, we've seen papers looking at the response to fungi, right? So the funguses form component of the microbiota is not just bacteria. And there's a paper even this month looking at different T cell responses to fungi derived from food in patients with IBD. And so if we step back one final level, what we can say is there's definitely something at the epithelial level. So the cell that protects or sense whatever is they're responding to in diet and everything else, microbiota in the intestinal tract, there's something about their response that changes. Now, is there a fundamental defect or is there something that triggers inflammation and then damages them? It's still unclear. There's clearly so many parts here. Diet's clearly part of it. Microbiota, part of it. Fungi are part of it. Your genetic response is part of it. How you regulate cells is part of it. So they're all in there. No one yet figured out what the sequence is. Or maybe in a given individual, there's different triggers, but the endpoint is the same. Thank you.